You've probably heard from people around you that finger sucking, thumb sucking can have a detrimental effect on your child's teeth. But how exactly does this work and how can the habit be discouraged? So tell me, Dr. Bobby, how can finger and thumb sucking affect a child's teeth? I don't think it takes too much imagination, <laughs> but uh, you know, children who have a you know a prolonged um, finger or thumb sucking habit um, as their um, baby teeth and then later their adult teeth come through they come through in really funny positions because they've got something stuck in the way yeah uh, so it can certainly affect the position and the appearance of um, baby teeth and adult teeth um, but it can also do certain things to influence the the growth of the jaws as the child's growing and not necessarily in a good way mm. yeah so it's a very important habit uh, to get on to and also to Think of ways to start discouraging. Because <laughs> is it even baby them. bottles and dummies and things like that too? Yeah, look, that's right. I think anything doesn't matter what it is. You know, I've, I've seen you know kids just with uh, toys. They just suck on toys the whole time. Yeah, and it uh, has the same thing. So anything that's in there that uh, disrupts the development of the dentition is going to going to have an effect. Yeah, and often a very visual effect too. I had a dummy child of three, so that's probably why I had buck teeth. There you go. We figured it out. It's taken like how many videos for us to do, and I've actually worked out. <laughs> so, what age should children aim to stop sucking on things like dummies yeah. and bottles? And yeah, sure. Thumbs? I mean, you, sh you should certainly be thinking or thinking about it at some stage during their, you know between the second and third birthday. Uh, we, we know from uh, all, the, all the research, and there's lots of research into this area, that any prolonged finger or thumb or pacifier habit uh, beyond the age of two can start to have a detrimental effect mm. on the position of the teeth. Now the question is when does it really, really become a problem? And um, that, that's a little bit more nebulous to try and explain, but as a general cases. rule, mm. once the baby front teeth start falling out and the adult front teeth start coming in around about five or six years old, at that stage you really need to be onto it yeah. in a big way. So what sort of treatments like what sort of advice can you give to parents who've got children that thumb sucking well i think the best advice is to see a professional mm. you know um, orthodontists are very well placed to to give advice uh, but of course we're not the only people you know there are doctors there are occupational therapists there's child psychologists all kinds of people because the the reasons why children will suck fingers or thumbs beyond the age of two or three years old where most people would have given it up uh, it can be very complicated, very varied, mm. and also very specific to that child. Interesting. So what about orofacial myology? Yeah. There's a bit of talk about that as well. So how relevant is that to, to people? Sure. I mean, or orofacial um, myology is, is kind of like an emerging area, you know, a really niche area of dentistry. Um, and it relates to the, the functioning of the, the muscles of the face and habits and breathing habits and certain things. Uh, and a lot of this stuff is very interesting uh, and because it's an emerging area maybe there's maybe not as much uh, science or research behind uh, the, the kind of practices that they have but it is a very interesting space to watch yeah that's for sure and uh, and i think they, they could have something to offer in the future so realistically if you've got a child that's got this sort of issue you're someone that can help out with that yeah, and um, there are certain people trained in orofacial myology, but also specifically in using that training to deal with kids who suck their thumbs and their fingers, mm. uh, and, uh, and it can be a, a very useful adjunct. So there you have it. Many children suck their fingers and dummies and all sorts of things out of habit, and usually that's no worries because they grow out of it before it begins to affect their teeth. However, if you're having trouble convincing your child to drop the habit, or it has affected their teeth already, definitely go and see Dr. Bobby and the team at Sunbird Orthodontics. Uh, and don't forget, if your child has just started losing baby teeth, do their future teeth a favor and make an appointment to see Dr. Bobby at Sunbird Orthodontics, as it can save you time, money, and low self-esteem in the future. And you don't need a referral, just call, schedule an appointment, and mention PacMag, and your first visit is free.